we go, the dovetail box is officially complete. If this is the first video of this series you're watching, be aware there's like 19, maybe 20 parts prior to this where I have taken you through step by step how to build this thing. Those of you that have watched this, you know, we've covered a lot of techniques in this. Sizing material, laying out dovetails, cutting dovetails, fitting dovetails, gluing up the box, edge jointing the lid, gluing the lid so that it stays flat, flattening the lid after realizing it isn't flat, cutting the rebates, cutting a plinth profile, mitering the plinth, sticking that to the box, and then refining, sanding, and finishing it. We have gone through so many steps and covered so many skills in just this simple little project. I need to be very careful not to drop it, but I do hope you found the series useful. Those of you who went alongside this and actually built it using the plans that I provided throughout the series, then please send me a picture of them. I would love to share them on the online school and my website. I want other people to be able to see what you can actually do if you commit to finishing this build and the skills you pick up along the way. Now, on that note, if you've been scoping out this entire series before actually committing to doing the build, then please be aware that on my website there is all the supporting resources to help you through this build on top of the videos that you've probably already seen. It includes things like a tool list, it includes supporting materials. So when I haven't covered a skill in this build in full depth, there will be a video that has already been filmed prior to that that goes into incredibly detailed detail that should help you with that specific part of the build. And just before we finish, I would like to plug that this box is one of the first projects you will complete if you enroll at Rikertwood Furniture School in Oxford. I've basically filmed this series not only to help you guys, but also to help the students who study there and basically have this backup material on top of the tuition that is provided by their tutor. So if you don't want to build this in your cold garage at home and you happen to live local to the school and you've got time to kill in the next academic year, then and there'll be full details below regarding that course and enrolling and everything like that. It's actually where I trained. I built this box seven years ago as of filming this series and uh, yeah, we've come a long way since. I like to think this one looks a little bit better than my first one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this series, guys. If you want to support the channel a bit further and help me continue with these free videos, then you can support the channel on Patreon below. I don't mind if you pledge anything from $1 upwards. It's completely up to you. But if you don't fancy doing that, then at the very least, all I ask you to do is just press the like button below and also subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. By clicking the link below, that will take you to the page with all the viewer projects and everyone that has graduated, should we say, from this course. And then after viewing that, we will be able to move on to the next project, which is making an arts and crafts style cabinet. Thank you for watching. I will see you there.